Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering the AWS Accenture Executive Summit. Brought to you by Accenture. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of the AWS Executive Summit here in Las Vegas at the Venetian. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We are joined by folks from Moneta Money Bank. We have Martin Berdich, who is the Senior Manager IT Infrastructure, and Martin Trichka, Cloud Technical Architect Manager at Accenture. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you for having us. So we're talking today about Moneta Money Bank's journey to the cloud, but First, I want to start with you, Martin. Talk a little bit, t tell our viewers a little bit about Moneta Money Bank. So Moneta Money Bank, it's, um, it's the fourth uh, largest bank in Czech Republic, which is not big, obviously, the country is small, but, uh, but the bank is far big. Uh, we're serving um, something around one million customers, so, and we're providing all the services you can imagine, so bank accounts, uh, loans, mortgages, credit cards, whatever you, you find out. And there's one special thing I'd like to point out. We have a brilliant mobile application, which is consistently getting uh, the awards every, every year for the best mobile banking app on the market. So, so this is Moneta. So you're already a pioneer in technology, really on yeah. the vanguard, yeah. and recently made the decision to move 12 of your, or two dozen of your existing apps to yeah. the public cloud. Yeah. What was the impetus for that decision? I think there's a, there's a lot, I mean, there's a wider, wider strategy which is around being digital, being agile, all those buzzwords you hear around everywhere. No, you know? actually go into that a yeah, little yeah, bit. Yeah, so it's a, what, automation, it? all the other stuff. I think one of the, but one of the big one as well was the uh, legacy infrastructure because the bank's got a huge legacy stuff which is, which is you know, causing a lot of issues. You know, if you want to go fast on the market, you want to be quick, you want to respond to your customers, this is slowing us down, so I think Apart from all the other strategy, or at least in my area, the infrastructure part, definitely the big, the big one was the, uh, the legacy asset we are actually you know, trying to remove by moving to cloud, which is, that's the thing. Yeah. So, so they needed a partner <laughs> to help them move to the Absolutely. public cloud, in this case AWS, of yeah. course. And so, and when Accenture comes into this, first of all, is this, a, is this a standard client, sort of someone who is, a company that is, that is already technologically minded and trying to do this? I mean, would you say that this is, this is sort of the kind of person, the kind of organization you, that, that gravitates? So, Moneta, you know, as a pioneer um, uh, in terms of adopting public cloud on the, uh, on the Czech market, uh, uh, for them, it was a huge step to, to adopt public cloud. So, we were very happy that they asked us for help. Uh, the first thing that we did is uh, we helped them uh, uh, design their IT strategy, what, what the steps should be in terms of adopting public cloud. Actually, we, we help them you know, also to, to define that cloud adoption will be one of the pillars of their, their future, future growth along with, uh, with other, uh, other initiatives. So, so we help them with the, with the IT strategy and then we basically uh, went through that whole journey together with uh, Moneta, Moneta infrastructure teams, with Moneta security teams, and with our team who helped the client to, to migrate eventually those two dozen workloads uh, into, into the cloud. So is it a co-creative process in the sense of are you together figuring out mm -hmm. the sort of the steps on the journey or is it Accenture in the background? And no, I think uh, one of my you know, goal was to uh, make my team part of that as much as possible. So obviously Accenture help is appreciated and they were needed because the knowledge of public cloud, not only in the company, I think even on the market itself is very limited. The experience with that is very limited, so Accenture played a strong role in that. But what I make, make sure from the beginning, or I was trying to make sure from the beginning, is that the team will be part of that from the f f f really end to end. So they, whatever Accenture was helping, the team was kind of contributing, and they were able to actually do it together. So the knowledge, you know, ha has been you know increased in, in in the wider team. So now we are definitely much more capable than we have been before. Um, and when we started. So how did you help? So sort of, you know, as you said, yeah. <laughs> figuring out the business challenges and then actually finding solutions. So, uh, so it all started with, you know, uh, what we call preparation uh, for, for the journey to cloud. This means that we help the client to assess their risk because we are speaking about, you know, bank, uh, there's a regulation uh, which needs to be met, those requirements reg regulatory. So we help the client uh, to assess the risk associated with uh, going to cloud. We help them design their, their exit strategy 
when they need to actually you know uh, exit the cloud and uh, after we accomplish accomplish those let's say preparation task we focused on what we call blueprints this is basically desi designing concepts of how the target environment w w will look like in terms of the architecture in terms of security in terms of governance so so we helped jointly you know with Mar martin's team uh, design those uh, those blueprints and after that it was basically ready to to, yep. to kick, kick the journey to cloud actually uh, itself so you mentioned governance, you mentioned security, privacy, GDPR is, is, was recently enforced in Europe. Mm -hmm. Did you come up with any challenges? With no, I mean, there, I mean there, there have been many, obviously. The, the regulation itself, if, if it's GDPR, if it's, if it's the banking regulation, all the other elements have to be considered. And I think this is a constant, you know, this is a constant task, you know. It's not, it's not over, because obviously, as we are pioneer on the market, the, um, we are learning and we are, showing the other competitors actually whether this is actually possible and what, what, it, what needs to be done to, to make it possible. So obviously the, the regulator, uh, Czech National Bank, had a lot of tasks or, or steps. We, they gave us a lot of next steps we have to fulfill so we can actually proceed and this is, this is an ongoing journey and we have to kind of work on this, uh, uh, still work on it. It's, it's not over. There have been a significant risk analysis done obviously. So there, I think it was like more than 100, 100 risks has been identified you know, uh, around the cloud. Now this has been much reduced and obviously there are still next steps we need to fulfill to, to get this done. So you have fully migrated to the public cloud? Uh, those 20 applications. Those 20 yeah, applications, yeah, yeah. yes, exactly. Um, what have you seen so far, both from your clients and both in, and from the, your colleagues? Have, there, I think, have you seen changes? I think there have been a couple of, couple of things. One, one of the things is that uh, the team, I mean, not only IT team, but internal people in the banks see that it's actually working, right? There have been some skepticism on the beginning. Obviously, people were looking for reasons why why we shouldn't be doing it because of this and that. I think this is now a bit clearer, and people kind of getting the getting the feeling that it, this is actually working. Uh, so this is one of the this is one of the one of the outcome of, of that thing. Obviously, the other was that we quickly find out and Accenture helped on that. We need to optimize. So I mean, we move it as it is. We lift and shift and then we find out we're actually wasting resources, therefore we're wasting a lot of money, so we had to start working. So it, 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 by moving it, it didn't stop. You know, it's, yeah. not the, it's, not the, it's not over, we have, to, we have to now work on that and we need to find out how do, we, how do we actually optimize the whole workload and what we can do to actually make it better. Apart from the fact we are you know, looking at the other phases of the project and we, we, want to, we want to move more, we have to work on the older bit as well. So, so, so we need to make sure we get most from the cloud. And what are what other learnings did, did throughout this process did you come up with? Sort of best practices that have emerged. I mean, as you said, you are showing your competitors yeah, that yeah, it is possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, the other top three banks in the Czech Republic. I mean, are sort of learning from yeah. Moneta Money Bank's experience. What would you What would you say are the best practices? So it, it really depends, you know, on, from which perspective you look on on, 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 the, on those lessons learned. So from the regulation perspective. The answer is yes, it's possible to adopt public cloud even with uh, in, in highly regulated uh, FS market. However, you, meet, you need to meet uh, many, many requirements. From the technology perspective, uh, I believe that Moneta was really surprised how easy it was to adopt uh, the technology mm -hmm. itself. Uh, the migration went, uh, happened basically in just uh, four and a half months. Uh, so this is something you normally are not able to uh, to accomplish uh, in traditional legacy data center in data center environment. So uh, so this is from the technology perspective. Uh, as you said, journey to cloud is how you migrate to cloud, but then journey in cloud begins. So another lesson learned is actually that you. Once you are in the cloud, you need to uh, change your operating model. You need to start uh, optimizing not only you know your your span, but also let's say let's say performance and resiliency. So so basically, the, the the job is not done when you migrate to cloud. It just begins, yeah. right? So exactly. So you're so you're now you're you're at the beginning of this journey. Um, yeah. Now that you're there, mm -hmm. where what is the future work? What does the future look like? Yeah, obviously we have a big plans. Uh, I think. Um, uh, our aim is to migrate 50% uh, of the workload, you know, um, until end of uh, 2019. Um, it's a challenging task uh, because, I mean, we obviously created the baseline because we have the environment, we have some applications, so now we just built on top of that and we start to work on it. 
uh, but it's a challenging task uh, and uh, this is what we're looking at in the future. And do clients feel it? I mean, w would a banking customer have sense any difference? Uh, and this is the thing, you win awards for your mobile abso app. So absolutely, you're absolutely. I think uh, uh, the, the plans for the 2019 will be really, uh, that's going to be the shift for the clients. We have a plans to move their really like a strong production workloads which are affecting the clients you know on the end of the day and uh, i think that's going to be the that's going to be the visible element for them when when we do that and finally what's your word for what's your word of advice for other banks that are that are considering pondering this move to the public cloud uh, what would, you, what would you say? What was, is it sort of the strategy, the strategic advice? So, so when we are speaking to clients about public cloud adoption, they usually think about public cloud adoption in terms of technology, right? That you are basically replacing data center technologies, on-premise technologies with some other technology in the cloud. This is not the case. Uh, that part of the whole journey is, is just a small part. Uh, it's about you know, changing how the organization work. Uh, it, it changes the operating model. It, 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 it touches almost every, every function in the, uh, in the organization. You know, the business, uh, HR, finance, uh, security, mm -hmm. risk teams, all, of, all, all those teams uh, and functions are uh, affected by, by cloud eruption. So my recommendation would be think uh, of, of cloud adoption from that perspective. It's not just a technology change. You're not just changing uh, you know, a platform for, for another platform. I okay. would have one recommendation, and that is don't be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> don't be afraid, yeah. I like it. That's a good word, yeah. good word of advice to end on. Martin and Martin, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. It was a really great conversation. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight. That wraps up day one of theCUBE's live coverage of the AWS Executive Summit. We will be back here tomorrow with more. Signing off, thank you so much for joining us.